video is on identity in the modeling industry. And most of you know that, hi guys, uh, today's video is on identity in the modeling industry. And most of you know that I do model and um, I have been doing it for about seven years now. I will say that a lot of you, like I kept a lot of it, I don't want to say private, but I didn't actually put it out there, how much work I was actually doing. And that was because I didn't like the weight that um, my peers put on me for that. Um, so I just, I didn't like that. <laughs> so I kept it quiet, but finally um, I realized that it's just a really a part of me that I want to encourage people, I want to encourage other young women that are doing this, um, how to find your foundation in that and get grounded so you can be successful. Um, as I said, I've been doing it for about seven years and uh, it, it's a lot and you guys see me post pictures of me being on set and I probably went on 30 auditions before I got that job and so that means I handled 30 other times of rejection right that's a lot and any of you guys who's ever job hunted or even applied for colleges you know what that process is like I mean it's not fun and the more you put yourself out there the larger the scale of rejection you're allowing yourself to be in and it is so hard and you walk into this room right and it's filled with 20 to 30 sometimes more women who are just beautiful I mean stunning and you're like everyone's sizing each other up and and then you don't get a call and it's in 30 times 30 times before before you actually book a job sometimes and so what I just want to talk about is finding that foundation of whatever it is that um, is you your core and you've got to hold on to that because guess what your weight's gonna go up and down and you're gonna change you're gonna get old right you're not getting any younger um, the standards are gonna change I mean years ago they wanted everyone stick thin and now they like curves which Hey, I'll, I'll take that right now. <laughs> um, but now, you know, they like curves sometimes, and that's not always. You know, the, the client, it varies. And so there's this pressure to fit this certain mold, and you really have to be grounded in your foundation of who you are and if that job works for you or not. And a lot of them won't, and that's okay. But there's going to be one or two that's going to be perfect for you. So um, it's, it's taken me a long time to get to a positive place with the modeling industry. I loved it, but I didn't love what came with it. And I realized that was not anything to do with the modeling industry, it was me. And um, coming to a really good place with that has been so good and so just um, exciting and exciting to see where that takes me. But I just want to encourage you girls, if you are pursuing that and if you are, you know, looking up to say, uh, you know, a model on TV or, or in a magazine, know that they handled a lot of rejection before they got to that point. They didn't just walk in, book the job, and stood there and got their hair done and, and, and got paid for it. That is not what happened. They spent hours in the gym. They ate right. They stayed positive. They got good sleep. Um, they probably heard no a million times. I mean, I'm not even joking you. The amount of auditions that girls go on, it's crazy. So I just want to encourage you guys to if you're if you're pursuing this path or if you look up to someone on this path know there's so much more behind the scenes that you don't see and it's a lot of um staying mentally grounded and there's a lot a lot of um roots in their foundation whatever that is for me it's my faith and um thankfully also my husband he's been very supportive not in the modeling industry but supportive in my um fulfillment of the artistic side of that i love taking photos i love um bringing energy to a photo and um he's been supportive of that the whole time and believe me that man has dealt with so many tears when it comes to that. Jobs I didn't get, um, not feeling good enough. I mean, he, he's been there. So um, thankfully, I mean, I'm in a nice rooted place with that. But um, know there's so much behind the scenes that you don't see. And it's not this perfect world. And if you guys want to do it, then saddle up and be ready for rejection. But they got someone's got to book the job, right? Someone does. So it might as well be you. And if it's not, then there's another one for you. So you just keep going. But that's it, guys. I hope this encouraged you, and I, I really feel like this can be applied to any um, any job, any uh, career choice. There's always rejection with modeling. It's a little bit more um, than uh, than other careers, I would imagine, but.
take care and um, please subscribe and I will definitely, um, you guys can check out my photos on Instagram and Facebook and please share if you know someone in the modeling world or maybe your community is this way. Um, I hope this encourages you guys.